We're back again. Mm. The things people do to cope with their problems. The things people do to escape their problems. The things some people do in order to cope with the loss of a loved one. How the fuck can your boyfriend die? How the fuck can your boyfriend get murdered and to cope with his death, cope with the loss of your boyfriend? Why the fuck would you think plastic surgery is the number one option, is the best choice that you can make? So this chick here, her boyfriend was murdered in that. Probably a road you. That's what happens, isn't it? Man was murdered. And now this girl is getting all his plastic surgery, lips, nose, everything. Bum, boobs, everything. You think that's going to bring your boyfriend back? You think that's going to really help you get over your boyfriend and that? If anything, that's doing more damage. Because now you're going to start nitpicking. That, oh, all right, so I got my face done, got my boobs done, got my ass done, lips, get my ears done, get my jawline done. Blood, when, when is it going to fucking stop? I know a man like this. A man, unfortunately, his mum passed away. It was about 10 years ago or something. You know the guy? And he was like, he weren't man them. He weren't like A team, like ride out, you get me? 149, all the way down to Tottenham High Road, any IC tree we see, we spin their jaw. No. But he was like, man knew him on the ends, innit? You get it? Man just grew up. So he was a, you get me? Someone on, on the ends and that. A man is a crackhead now. No, you don't burn weed. No, no, no. Man's a crackhead. Bro. Before his mum passed away, he's probably burning weed, innit? Black youth, typical, innit? His mum died, crack. Madness. Like, you know them crackheads? Like, he's one of them, blood. This is man that man know, you know? How can someone I know actually turn into a cat? Fucking up. Anyway, let's roll the video, bro. My relationship with plastic surgery is actually amazing. I spent 20000 for my 30th birthday. I got my lips, the cheeks, and my nose. But I wanted to be more no. medical about my No, that one we're not doing. Why? I am not touching your you nose. I cannot to. let you overdo it. So my mom and my brother is coming over and I have no clue that I got my whole face redone. And they have no clue that I got my boobs done for the fourth time. Hey guys, hey mommy. Oh my god, are you kidding me? She needs a doctor, yes or no? Yeah. Therapist? Yes. I had a very rough year. I just lost my boyfriend to murder. I feel like this is how I cope. Just getting fillers, tattoos, piercings. It makes me feel better. I'm just trying to be strong because it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. My name is Nicole Zavala and I am from New York, but I live in Miami. I'm a reality star on Cartel Crew on VH1. I've been on three seasons already. When people first see me, they think, oh, she's stuck up. Oh, she has an attitude or her personality might be whack. I would like people to know that I actually have a good heart. I'm very, very humble. Even being on TV, even before and after TV, nothing has changed me. I've been the same person. I don't think that I'm, I'm bigger than anybody else. You know, I treat everybody the same. I mean, I don't think anyone would really wipe up this girl. Obviously, someone has, because that's why, obviously, she's got a dead boyfriend in it. But, like, girls like that, you bang them. But, come on, man. I... I can't look into a girl's face and see all of that plastic and all that fake shit and, and, and like all of that. Nah, it's, it's too much, blood. It's too much. When you see the, the top lip so looking, it look like you've been punching your face by Mike Tyson and that, man. It's too much. And I hate when I see girls with fake noses as well. Uh, I'm sure they missed something about the nose. I, I don't know if she uh, had the top bit, but I'm sure, I'm sure she's probably had her nose done. And you know when these girls do... Plastic surgery and that, usually the nose is the first thing that they want to chop up and, 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 and get rid of and that. So, yeah, girls like that, man, fam, they're, they're, they're not wifey material, blood. Same, and that's just always been me. I'm never going to change. My relationship with plastic surgery is actually amazing. Oh, my God. She doesn't even look like the same fucking person. She's just completely different. Completely different. The only thing that looks the same is the eyes. That's it. Fucking nuts. And look how thin her waist is now. She must have done fucking like a Photoshop on that picture, man. 
I just want to go more and more and more. Like, I love fillers. I love my lips. I think I've spent over... Ah, oh, fuck you. No, you love fillers and you love your lips. Let's peel that back, blood. I just want to go more and more and more. Like, I love fillers. I love my lips. I think I've spent over 150k over plastic surgery. Almost 175k. What? Bro, you know how much poppies you can buy with that money? Or at least put down deposits, fam. Okay. I'm definitely addicted to plastic surgery. I like to change my appearance all the time. I like to look more fake. I get all sorts of comments on my looks. Sometimes I'll be like, you look like a brat though, you look like a Barbie, you look like a blow up fish because of my lips. Honestly, when people give me mental the comments, I really laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's right about the brat stalls. Because I, I remember them. I remember the brat stalls and I don't think my little sister had one. But I remember, like, maybe, like, one of my little cousins, and I got little cousins at 22. I think she had them or whatever. I used to see them advertised on the TV. And they got them fat, fake lip-looking things. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly what she looks like. I'll see a comment, I'll block them. I don't care what anybody thinks. You know, you're not paying my bills. You're not paying for my plastic surgery. If you don't like it, don't go on my page. My latest procedure that I have done for my 30th birthday is another boob job. I wanted to look like more like basketball. Just sitting there, I just wanted to sit. I went bigger. Did you hear what she said? She doesn't care what anyone thinks. Uh, that ain't entirely true because if you didn't care what anyone thought, you wouldn't be posting up pictures. I, I, I don't know. I've never seen this girl. I've never heard of her, innit? But I'm assuming she ain't dressed up like a nun. I'm assuming... She's probably dressed up half naked and that. Well, I mean, we did see little one, two pictures and that. Like, I mean, you, you wouldn't want your mum to look like that, right? There you go. So she, she's probably just uh, posting up pictures that are half naked and that. Because she wants likes and she wants positive. She wants the little fireball, Hadouken fucking comments and that. Red uh, fire eyes or love heart eyes and that. She does care what people think. She just don't want to hear the negative comments, yeah? If people, if, if a chick is constantly posting up pictures of herself trying to look hot and that, blood, it's because she cares about what people think, blood. Bullshit. Because she don't delete none of the positive comments. She won't delete no comment that says, oh, you know, you're so beautiful and that, oh, wow, good, great transformation. Can't wait to see more. She's keeping those ones, isn't it? I think it was like $8,000 I spent on my boobs. And then with the fillers, I got my fillers done. 20000 for my 30th birthday. And I spend it real good. Today I'm gonna meet up with my friend, with my bestie. We're gonna go get fillers together. She's just like me. She loves yes. to get fillers on her face. She does the same thing I do. The nose, the cheeks, the lips. I mean, this is my girl. So. And why not? Like, we do everything else together. Good to see you. What are we here for today? Fillers. Everything. Okay. Let's get things going, okay? okay? Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. I wanna get my lips, you know, a little a little touch up right here because you know I like it to look more um pouty pouty yeah ooh the cheeks I want it to look more snatched I know? know you like it chiseled so yes. and my nose that I want it to be more no. Tinkle Bell nose no that one we're not doing because we have to keep it natural why I am not touching your you nose I cannot to. let you overdo it your nose looks perfectly fine so I'm not letting you do that Okay. We're gonna get you chiseled. Let me introduce okay. you to Katrina. She hey, is baby. my aesthetic nurse practitioner, and she's gonna get you that look that you okay. want. We are outside tonight, baby. I love it. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, we're gonna look so good. Girl, you know this always makes me feel better. I mean, you know. You've been through so much, babe. You deserve it. We're gonna we're gonna party. We're gonna live it up. Yes, this is are. your weekend, babe. I know that self care makes you feel better. Yeah. And you look beautiful. And when you look beautiful, you feel beautiful. I you know. know. But I do miss him. I miss him too. So I had a very rough year. Um, you know, I just lost my boyfriend um five months ago. You know, three year relationship with him um to murder. This is the portrait that I did of my boyfriend. His real name is Demetrius, but everybody knows him as Meech. So Demetrius, legends live forever because it's true, he really was a legend in my life and to a lot of people. So this day, I don't understand why they took him away like that. You know, such a beautiful person, such a good person. That's probably been like the best relationship I had in my entire life. I feel like he's always with me every day, you know, and it's just something that I gotta like, deal with because it's hard it's hard losing somebody just like that but i'm trying i'm trying it 
you know, like, and I know he's with me and I know he wants me to do good and I'm just trying to be strong because it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. I've been talking to the therapist every week because it's like, it's, it's just crazy, but you know, I'm hanging in there and I'm taking it day by day. But you know, self-care, all this makes me happy. So I don't have to really like think about it so much. Grief is something really serious. I'm just now getting up and trying to make myself feel beautiful. I was stuck home for two months. I was just looking at the wall, like I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to cope with it. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I fell into a deep depression. What has helped me um, grieve about my boyfriend? Um, you know, I was around with a lot of his friends, you know, or his friends check up on me. So having the support of them makes me feel um, a little better. My advice that I give to people that have lost their loved ones, talk to a therapist. It's been helping me a lot. And you know, just have all your loved ones, you know, be surrounded with love. I never really spoke about my relationship on social media. You know, he was just a very private person and that's something in my life that I wanted to keep very, very private. But as soon as my boyfriend passed away, I started posting him and everybody was like, oh, she got a man, where she got a man? Oh, now she's posting her man after he passed away. Oh, was she trying to get attention? I want his name to live forever. I want everybody to know Meech and the good person that he was. Grief is a process. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. But one thing I can tell you is that I'm never gonna leave your side. Good or bad, I'm always gonna be here for you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you, girl. My bestie. Oh, yes. What are you doing after this? I have my makeup artist. She's gonna come and do my makeup. And I had to reveal my mom and my brother, my boobs and my fillers. Are you ready for that, girl? Girl, I ain't trying to hear my mom's mouth, but whatever. She gonna see me regardless, so I'm gonna have to tell her. My family thinks that I'm crazy, I'm losing my mind. Every year is a different procedure. Every month I'm doing fillers. If your family think you're crazy and you're losing your mind, I mean, in this case, they're probably fucking right, blood, because, like I said in the previous, uh, uh, earlier, how the fuck do you think yeah, getting all this plastic surgery is going to help you cope with the loss of your boyfriend and that? No, it's going to make it fucking worse, blood. you just got to let time, time uh, heals all wounds, yeah, that... that that's, that's all I can fucking say, blood. But doing drugs or doing, getting up fucking, getting all these fillers and that, blood, it's not going to fucking help you, man. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. How, How are, are you? you? Good. How are you? Good. And your skin looks fabulous yes. as always. Thanks. Love it. I just came from getting fillers done. Really? Mm-hmm. I know, know, I know. And I got my boobs done, babe, so you know. Oh. So my mom and my brother's coming over and I have no clue that I got my whole face redone and they have no clue that I got my boobs done for the fourth time. Hey guys, hey mommy, huh? thank Hi, you for Nicole. coming. Hi, how are you? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Hi bro. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I don't want you to see me right <laughs> So I got my boobs done and I got more fillers in my face. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what do you think? I got my lips, my cheeks, my chin, everything done again. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Again? More cheeks. Why? So you said this was gonna be the last time. I wanna look like a Barbie. You look like a Bratz doll. That's exactly how I wanna look. All right, bro, but like, <laughs> there's like a limit, you're passing it. You're like right there. I feel like this is how I cope. Like just getting fillers, tattoos, piercings. It makes me feel better. I understand, but I feel her mom looks old, boy. Like, you know, like there's some people that just look old and that, like for their age, innit? But like her mom actually is an old woman. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm thinking to myself, if that chick there is 30, then how old was the mom when she gave birth? What, 50 years old? Like, is she like 80 years old right now? Did she give birth to the girl that's now 30 when she was 50 years old, blood? She's old, blood. 
feel like you have to figure out another way of like coping. And I feel like you look fine and you shouldn't just be adding more to it. That's exactly what my makeup artist told me. You see? So it's not just me. I'm just not being annoying. I'm just telling you the truth. I feel like you have to think of all alternatives because at the end of the day, like if that, if any of your surgeries go wrong, you're going to fall into a deep depression. She needs a doctor, yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Therapist? Yes. You need a therapist. Right away. Because it's, it's too much. It's 10, 11, I don't know how many. 11 surgeries. 11. That's not good. That's it. No more, please. Okay. I love you too much. All right, Ma, I'll think about it. I'll consider it. Maybe I do need a therapist on that route, you know? Um, but I love yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to Frank, blood, because <laughs> yeah, you need you need some professional help and that because you can't be doing all these mad fucking uh, surgeries and that, man. Me too. Thank you for coming, mommy. I love you so much. I know you have to go, baby. Michael, thank you, babe. All right, babe. I'll see no. you. Okay, I'll be careful. Take care. I know, mommy. Thank you, mommy. I love you. Bye, guys. Yeah, I love you too, baby. They was in shock once again, but I feel like they're kind of used to this at this point, you know? But I was more in shock than my mom told me. This. She sent me to a therapist. Like, she started to think I'm crazy because I'm doing all this. This is how, just how I cope. As of right now, this is how I cope, you know, grief of my man. And this is, this is just how I'm gonna be coping until I don't know when. Looking back, if I was to talk to my younger self, Honestly, if you don't like how you look, just fix yourself. I don't think I'm gonna ever stop. So I feel like my next procedure that I'm gonna get is my hips and my butt done. Just because I feel like my boobs are big now and I feel like I have to match with my butt. I don't have no fear about getting old because I'm never gonna look old. If I get fixed the way I get fixed with surgeries and fillers, how you think when I start reaching 40, man, I'm gonna do double what I'm doing. Like I said, time heals all wounds and, you know, you can't escape your problems and that. I, I know a girl, her brother died and she started burning weed and that. And I said to her, blood, why the fuck you burning weed for? Do you think, you think weed is going to bring back your brother? That you that I told you that started smoking crack in that, I think he thought smoking crack was going to bring back his mum, blood. And you have to think to yourself, and maybe the weed thing ain't that bad, I, I don't rate weed, but the weed thing ain't that bad, but... A man like that starts smoking crack. Do you think his mum would be proud of him for smoking crack under any circumstances? The answer is no, blood. So why the fuck are you going to start smoking crack? Because your mum passed away. Let's say your mum was in, up in the heavens. I don't believe in God. But let's say your mum was up in the heavens. Your mum will look down on you. Yeah? She will look down on you in disgust that you're smoking crack, blood. And yeah, that's it, man. Stay was done, though.